G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel today. I'm going to be doing a Q&A, and that's usually when YouTube has run out of ideas. And you're looking at one. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so I asked on YouTube and Instagram for some questions. Let's get into it. This is one of the funniest YouTube names I've ever seen in my life. Caden, would you rather 5 million subs or 5 million dollars? Now, I know a lot of people that would rather the money. I think you could probably make more money with 5 million subs. But besides the money making side of that, I would just love to be able to experiment with an audience of that size um, with different types of videos. So, oh, 5 mil, 5 mil subs. I'd choose 5 mil subs. Mikey wrote, what would you do if Melbourne made the grand final? Something that would resemble this. Miss Magic Mystery wrote about 40 questions. One that I really like is, did I finish year 12? Yeah, I did. Um, really crawled to the finish line there. I, I really enjoyed school from like prep till year 10. There's a few reasons why I didn't enjoy school as much. In year 12, there was things that happened. I had a slip disc in my back, which means I couldn't really sit for half the year. So I was going to school, two Panadols, two anti-inflammatories at recess, two Panadols, two anti-inflammatories at lunch. Two Panadols, two anti-inflammatories when I get home. I got the lowest ATAR out of like, all my mates. <laughs> I have conversations with Austin Cookson all the time, and we discuss how ATAR, I don't know, unless you want to go to uni, doesn't mean a whole heap. If you want to be a doctor and, and that's the path you want to take, yeah, knuckle down at school. And I wouldn't advise anyone to disrupt those people at school, but if it's just not for you, I would just say stress less a little bit because it just all sorts itself out. Will wrote, do I wish I went for a different team besides Melbourne? No. There was times during that tough period with the Dees so where I was like, this is the pits. This is the absolute worst, but I don't know. Like the two or three wins a year outweighed all the losses. Like any win was just so good. So I don't know. I, I don't wish I went for any other team. Are you going to make any merch? And what do you think about AFL Evolution? I don't think there'd be many YouTubers out there with 6,000 subscribers and merch. Um, I do like the thought of t-shirts, but I don't think that's <laughs> anywhere in the near future. Uh, what I think of AFL Evolution, I love it. I reckon it's good fun. I've been playing FIFA recently, that career mode, and yeah, when it does get compared to a world-class game like that, it's a bit hard, but AFL Evolution on its own is probably the best AFL game out, I reckon. So, yeah, it's heaps serviceable. And also with that latest patch thing, it just smooths it over a lot, so... Um, yeah, I, I like it. Zacharooney17 wrote, What's your most embarrassing moment? Um, I was once doing stand-up in Bendigo, and I fell off the stage. It was only like two steps up onto the stage, but... The Mighty Tigers have asked, Neats or Robinson? I'm a Robinson man. I once made a short film called <laughs> The Caden McDonald Show, where I interview Russell Robinson, but I'm Russell Robinson. It's one of my mate's favourite older videos of mine. And I'll play a little clip here. Cool, here he is, uh, Russell Robinson. Someone order a Russell Robinson. Get that right. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get on fire. How long does it take you to write parody songs? They probably take one to two days to write, a couple of hours to record, a couple of hours to put together, and then I film. But that's pretty easy. Once I film, it's basically done. So, but I've been working on a couple songs at the moment, which I'll I'll perform for you now. One, I don't know if it'll work. The other, I'm not sure if it'll work, but I'm only gonna sing one to you now because I might still do the other one. This one is by Sean Mendes. It's called There's Nothing Holding You Back. And this is what I've got for it so far. This 40 season's been so tight. Most of the teams could make the R8. Any team could win on their night. More inconsistent than Sean Tait. Don't Hannah Breeze said no to drinking beer for the year. The Herald's unbelief, that's why his form disappeared. The Crows on top of they lost to the Roos and Dees Who spanked the Western Bulldogs Beat the Pies cause of the freeze The Pies beat the Cats who won against this team Who beat the Richmond Tigers after the siren at the G They cannot hold a lead 
I didn't break down who I think is going to win. If you disagree, put my opinion in the bin. I would tip the Crows, but they have lost these games. I'd probably tip the Giants, but the injury plague for days. Who's next? So the power's in four. Just like Lucky Nears got the draw on the floor. And then that's it. When did you start playing footy and when was your first game? My first game was in under 10s. I was playing for the Torquay Sharks. I was sprinting into the goal square. Open goals. The pills on the ground. Kick it, McDonald. I kicked it off the ground. Went absolutely crazy. And um, I found out you can't kick it off the ground in under 10s. So, Cooper wrote, what was my dream job when I was a kid? It was... Journalist at the Herald Sun. I did my work experience there in year 10. Um, got to meet Chris Judd, Shane Crawford, Drew Petrie, Ben Howlett. Went to a different club every day. A few Doggies boys I got to meet. Um, yeah, I had an absolute ball. I loved it. It was so good. And then I realised by about year 10 I can't read or write. <laughs> so I thought, I'm not a journalist. Julia wrote, BT or Lingy? BT. Lockie wrote, did you go to the Geelong-Melbourne game when you got smashed by like 200 points? Uh, yeah, Locko, I did. And I sat through the whole game. Sammy wrote, Nike or Adidas? Rivers. Favourite video I've filmed for my channel? Um, I love the goal kicking one, so I'll probably say the ice bucket one with mid bowl or the one last week with the lads doing the goal recreation too, or even... Um, the first two soccer ones that no one's really got around, but um, yeah, I absolutely love just filming with the lads whenever they give me a chop out and give me the time of their day. Um, yeah, it, it makes it makes it so much fun to film. So, will you be doing an AFL Evolution career mode of some sort? Uh, yeah, I will. I didn't think I was going to, but I think I will. I think I will. I think I will, but it's going to be completely different to any other one you've seen before. There'll be like two or three elements which change the game. Ollie wrote, if footy and cricket didn't exist, what sport would you follow and be the most passionate for? Um, I, I do enjoy soccer, but when you don't live in the country where the, like the best leagues are, I, 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 really, I really enjoy the EPL, but because I'm not immersed in it, it's not in my face every day, I don't... I don't go out of my way to look up the, the games, I don't go out of my way to, to watch them, but I would say soccer. Orkin Fenwa Gammon wrote, Caden, are you going to do Q&As more often? Hashtag Q&A. Um, no, probably not more often. Bogan Games, what do you think of Howe's Mark? Probably the best mark I've ever seen live. That and Adam Uze and probably seven other of Jeremy Howe's Marks, but yeah, it was certainly up there. Probably the best I've seen live. Can I reenact the feelings and action when Watts kicked the sealer? Harmsy! Harmsy! Just throw it on the boot, Harmsy! Harmsy! Oh! Go, Wattsy! Go, Wattsy! Go, Wattsy! Oh, Wattsy! Finish, Wattsy! Finish, Wattsy! F***ing finish! I'll let you in on a little secret. At this stage, my goal is 10 by the first of January 2018. Surely we can get 10,000 by the end of the year. Maybe I'm being a little bit ambitious over here. Maybe this guy's been a little bit, a little bit ambitious, but you know, why can't we? Why can't we? Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video and I will see you again soon. Bye.